Okay, here I am with John Nalen. We're at the Weston Price Wise Traditions International Conference, and I'd like him to share with you a story. Hi, my name is John. I'm a member of the Weston A. Price chapter out of Chico, California, and I'd like to share a story with you about a little boy that's in the chapter that we watched from birth to four years old, eating nutritional foods and drinking raw milk. This little guy was born two months early. He weighed four pounds, two ounces. They said he wouldn't live overnight. He is now four years old, healthy, happy, and extremely intelligent. He spent his whole life on nutritional dense foods and raw milk. He had a severe bite when he was born. He had what they called a parrot bite, where his upper jaw actually came to a point, a very severe overbite on top of that. Doctors said he was going to need surgery and braces extensively to be able to eat properly. I can honestly say that today at four years old, had a dental checkup, x-rays, the dentist says he has a perfect bite and perfect dentition and they all match. So by parrot bite you mean it was like a little beak, it, almost it, looked it, like a little beak. Yes, it came to a point. He couldn't chew. He, he had an extremely difficult time nursing on a bottle. So, I mean, uh, it's, it's amazing. So you're a true believer in nutrient-dense foods then? Yes. Well, how do you feel about um, consumer access to these foods? I know in your state you've had a little bit of a scuffle with the regulatory system, not understanding why people want these foods and maybe trying to curtail their access. I, I have a hard time understanding why government and regulatory agencies are in my refrigerator and everybody else's. You can buy drugs and, and booze and cigarettes, but you can't buy foods you want to eat or drink. I, I'm involved actually through Farm to Consumers with part of the working group and California Department of Food and Agriculture on the raw milk and raw foods issue. And I still, it, it baffles my brain that we're even there talking about it. Well, I'm glad you're there working on that working group and helping the community because you know firsthand the, the strength that this one little boy has gotten from these foods. And thank you, John, for sharing this today. Okay, I would also like to say, I would like to thank Weston A. Price and Sally Fallon for educating all of us to be able to save these little kids. Thank you. Thank you, John. Have a great day.